How's it going shopaholics? I'm Evany and today I am hanging out here at Colt Vintage and I'm about to have a chat with Sherry, the store owner, and she's going to run us through everything we need to know about vintage styling. I started making my own clothes when I was 12. I've always loved clothing. That's my creative street. I bought an existing business, made sure that we emphasised the vintage part because that's what I love to do. That's where my experience in dressmaking is during the 70s and 80s. And I love vintage clothes because of the colours and the shapes and the fabrics. We came up with the name Cult Vintage just because it was just something that came up. My daughter just found it. I couldn't have C-U-L-T, obviously it's a band name or something. So we tried K and sort of stuck it. I really like the K. There's the styles from the 20s through to the 80s. Most of my stock is 50s to 80s, mainly because anything older than that is hard to get. If I do get it, it normally sells within a couple of days of arriving in store anyway. So most of my stock that I have in store is 50s to 80s. So during the 80s, the 80s was a really flexible, versatile era. The 80s did a lot of drop waist, which was revisited in the 20s, and it did a lot of the, the soft chiffon dresses, which were visiting the 30s and the shoulder pads were revisiting the 40s. The 80s really revisited those three decades very well. If you're looking for something that's a 20s style, I've probably got an 80s dress that would fit the bill even though it may not be in genuine 20s. At this point in time, I'm looking at possibly moving location to a larger space so that I can actually have a cutting table and actually make my own pieces and do my custom design stuff in store where I've got more time availability. That means that I would have one-off pieces one of the things that I think is very important for my label when I release my own label is that there is nothing that's a duplicate. So no, I won't be able to do a size 10 and a size 12 in the same dress. There would need to be something different about each of them. So even though I might make something out of the same fabric, it would be a slightly different style or a different feature. So each piece will be a one-off only piece.